Since last December, the Pfizer vaccine has been given out under emergency youth authorization from the FDA based on 44,000 people ages 16 and over who got the shot last summer and were then watched over two months. Since then, those same people have been studied an additional four months, and the FDA says it can now give the vaccine its official blessing. As the first FDA-approved COVID-19 vaccine, the public can be confident that this vaccine meets the FDA's gold standards for safety, effectiveness, and manufacturing quality. Public health experts hope this step will convince people who've been reluctant to get the shot. However, in Mattapan, where the vaccination rate is among the lowest in the state, several people said this would not change minds. The way I still view it, it's still an experiment. They're already a scientist in their head. They're already ahead of the doctors. FDA approval might also lead to more employers requiring the vaccine. Governor Baker and Boston Mayor Kim Janey have already said they plan to order public workers to get the shot. And the U.S. military says it will do the same. The department is prepared to issue updated guidance requiring all service members to be vaccinated. With full approval, Pfizer has now given its vaccine a marketing name, Comirnaty. Legally, doctors could now give it under what's called off-label use to children and as a booster to all adults. Is that wise? Is that ethical? Is that safe? And I believe it's not any of those things. Right now, this full approval only applies to the Pfizer vaccine and only to people 16 and above. Studies are still ongoing for younger patients and for the two other vaccines currently being administered under emergency use.